Hello, hello, GHA Chester Boy here, and welcome to part two of my of my DX Ryu Kono Geki review. In this in this part, we're going to look at all the gears here. This one from Avatar Get Set Zero Five, and right on the right we got the DX Avatar Gear Set Zero Six. So we're going to start with the fifth set. And also, this this Ryu Kono Geki here you're seeing in this video will be will basically get sounds from the Dome Blast. Along, well, how does interacts with the Dome Blaster? So let's start. So, let's we'll start with the fifth set of Avatar Gears. Starting off with the Dondra Goku Altar. Dondra Goku Altar Gear. So you get that, and of course you get the same sounds when you use when you put it in its axe mode. So I'm not going to show off the axe mode because they literally have the same exact finisher attack noises. So yeah, let's just move on. So the first we start off is Dragon Ranger from Jew Ranger. So you got that little tune from the what's from Dragon Ranger's weapon called the Juice Soken, aka the Dragon Dagger from My Warfare Power Rangers. So yes, and that flute actually summons that tune actually summons the dra the Dragon Caesar or Dragon Zord, as you remember that from My Warfare Power Rangers, aka Jew Ranger. And also speaking of Jew Ranger, if you use if you use the um, the Jew Ranger Avatar Gear slash Sentai Gear from last year, you're gonna get the same sounds. So just letting you know. So. There you go. Next is two Kaiser. So you got was Kaizo Kuzuki, and after that it plays a standby a standby sound from the Gear Delink from the Gear Delinger, which was two Kaisers more two Kaisers transformation weapon. So that is that. And next up, Gokai Silver. And speaking of Kaizoku, here's Gokai Silver. Okay, so similar to the two Kaiser gear, um, you got Kaiser Kunozuki, but followed by, I believe that's a sounder from the Gokai Spear, which was Gokai Silver's weapon. I think so. I mean, let me know in the comments. So, all right. And uh, and yes, if you use the Gokai gear, Avatar gear slash Sentai gear from last year, you're going to get the same exact sounds. So, no need to show that, no need to show that gear off when I get to part three. Yes, there is going to be a part three to this. Yeah. So, let's move on to Kirame Silver. So we got Majin, so we got Machine Zuki, and then you get pretty much a sound effect from the 
I think it's from Kirame Silver's Changer, and um, I forget what it's called. And and also from um, Kirame Silver's Weapon, which is like a like a drill slash jackhammer weapon, which I forget what it's called because really I haven't watched Kirame Mage because I had no interest in that show. But so there you go. That's pretty much all the gears from Avatar Gear Set Zero Five. Now let's move on to the sixth set. All right, next up, let's try out the all the gear, all the five gears that came with the DX Avatar Gear Set Zero Six, starting with the Torador Gonjin. Robo Taro gear. That's that. Alright. Next we're trying out is Star Ninja. So we got some electric guitar strumming sound effects from that, and that is from, um, I believe, Star Ninja's weapon was called the Star Sword Gun. So, so yeah, there you go. Alright, so, next we'll do Hollow Soldier. So, Hollow Soldier. And figure number that sound effect is actually from Ho Soldier's um, Sword and Shield Morpher slash weapon, and it played like and at the and the at the side it's had like it makes a little phoenix um, sound. So yeah. All right, next up, Lupin X. And of course, that sound effect right there was from the DX X Changer. When when it's, when it shows the um, was it the X Train Silver from from the front of the um, X Changer? So yeah. And last but not least, Riso Gold. And of course, the sound effect um, has, I think that's from the Mosa Changer, which was Riso Gold's Morpher slash weapon. All right, here's a little bonus, and it's a little, and sort of a little addent, ad, added up addendum to um, my Ryu Kono Geki review, part one. It turns out if, in order to get the Dai Gatai theme, which yes, there is a Dai Gatai noise in the Ryu Kono Geki. So what you do is you have to put the Drone Droid Goku gear inside here, spin it. Alright, now from here, instead of holding this down for one second, hold it for, for a couple seconds. And there's a Daigatai theme.
So you get the transformation theme for Torador Oni Taijin, which is that time of recording, even though we got the Torador Gonjin being revealed, but we, almost, we haven't seen the comments between that and Don't Oni Taijin as of now. So we just have to, I can't wait to see what that combination looks like. It's gonna be, I can tell it's gonna be a little ridiculous, but we'll have to wait and see. So that's it for part two of my View Kono Geki review. So tune in next time for part three. I'm gonna take a look, I'm gonna cover all of the Senpaiger gears. So ones from Gokaiger to Zenkaiger. So I'll catch you next time. So take care.